Welcome back to my studio. It's good to be back painting and I'm working on a little hummingbird painting. This is done on a six inch by six inch cradle panel. This is an ampersand. I get these through uh, jerrysartorama.com. The side has been, I've been painted the side with black acrylic. I First of all, I just, I added a coat of uh, gesso on the front of this, then I painted the sides with the black acrylic and then taped that off so that when I paint the, the painting, I can paint it and then pull the tape off and that edge is clean. I've done a, a white square on the back to where I can do my labeling and then I've added a little hanger there. So anyway, that's what that's painted on. These are great little panels for small paintings. This is six inch by six inch and they're just a lot of fun to paint on. Way I'm doing hummingbirds or a hummingbird and tiger lilies. So let's get to work on a little hummingbird. Find my brush here that I would want. Here we go. I will begin with his head. This is Viridian Green. And just this a mix of Viridian Green with just a tiny bit of white in it that just brings out the color a little bit more. The light's coming in from the upper right, so he'll be in shadow along this side, the side of his head. That green comes down. This is a little ruby throat. And then he's a little bit lighter up on this, this part of his head. I'll come back and put a highlight in there. My background is wet. The background is mixes of white plus phthalo blue. So I can use that to soften his head just a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to do his, before I do his ruby throat, I'm going to do his body. And this is a mix of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And that's my mother color. And then I bring in a little bit of ultramarine blue plus white. Just this white in the shadow. And it extends down into his, his tail there. Well, let's do his wings here on the back. I like having, I like being able to paint him wet into wet into the background because this allows me to feather out those, the feathers on his wings so it gives the feeling of movement. This, this wing comes around here, it's got a little darker. This is a filbert brush. I normally, most of my brushes I use are bright brushes which have a square end and the bright refers to the shape of the brush. That's the square end. There's also a flat which has a square end but it's longer than the bright brush and it to me is just too flimsy. I prefer the bright because the bristles are a little bit shorter. This is a filbert. You can see that it's got kind of an oval shape and then there's a they have what they call a round brush but those are all shapes. They're not the brand of brush uh, so you can look at oil painting brushes and find uh, just look for the shapes and that's what I mean by when I refer to a bright brush. It's not any particular brand, it's, it's the shape of the brush. And then I just start pulling these feathers. Now I work from the, the bone of his wing out so that I can let these go into that wet background and it just softens. And if I need to soften them more, taking my bright brush, that's the square, I pull from the background into the wing. So this way it keeps my background color clean. My background is lighter, so that allows me to pull into that and it keeps the background clean. Now I wipe my brush each time so that I keep my color clean. And now I want to pull again. Each time I pull from the light into the dark, I clean my brush because when I go back, I don't want to pull some of that dark color into my light background. 
I want this wing back here to really be soft. Those edges. Again, I just want this to... There we go. The top edge of the wing is a little bit harder, but I want these individual feathers, the ends of them, to be softer. Now we move to the other wing. And he's darker under here. These feathers kind of come. And then he gets a little bit lighter. And I let these feathers kind of fade off into the, into the background. And you can see how that just gives the feeling of movement. I have my reference material on the laptop to the right of my easel. So I have it right there. And I've just collected pictures of hummingbirds from calendars, from Google. And I always make them. I can never paint anything exactly like it, the picture is, but I just fun to play with these. Now you can see there's some places there. I'll pull the background color into that into those feathers to soften them. But his this dark goes down into his into his little side of his chest here. Little bitty feathers. Now we'll make his ruby throat. This is a mixture of magenta plus alizarin crimson. It's a nice deep Deep red. As it comes around into the sunlight, it becomes this is alizarin crimson plus white. Comes a little bit, doesn't show quite as bright there as I'd like it to. Let me add a little bit more white into that, into my alizarin crimson. feathers get iridescent as they come around in the sun. Now I'm going to add a little bit of my cadmium red light plus white to make our most brilliant, brilliant feathers. These are really catching the sunlight here. Again, I can soften this then, I can soften his head, the back side of his head and neck. Now the green's actually going to come down a little bit further. Comes back, about like so. Get a little smaller brush to do my little iridescent feathers here. It's just a matter of working back and forth. This wing there, and then this comes out right. right in here. Now he's got some green on his back. It comes around behind that wing. I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue plus white here just to give a little more iridescence in there. And now as tail feathers I'm using ivory black. And he's kind of hovering there deciding exactly what he's going to go for on this lily, where he's going to going to dive in. So these, again, these feathers, I want them to be pulled into that wet paint behind them so the ends are soft.
I just love hummingbirds. Gosh, it just when I hear their little zips and squeaks, it just makes my heart sing. I have some red yuccas blooming in our garden right now, and oh my goodness, they just love them. It's so fun to look out there in the morning and see them flittering around. So his lower part of his body here just makes a little bit darker. And we want to put his little feet in there. It's the fun part. I love this. It's just their little little toes. His little feet are right. Don't quite have that quite right. Let me take a little of my ultramarine blue plus white. He's got a little more of a tummy right here that you don't see as much of that foot. There we go. And I'm going to let that foot come out from his body just a little bit. There we go. A little bit more. Ultramarine blue plus white, just here. This helps round his belly a little bit. Comes up here. Yeah, that's more like it. Now I'm going to do his eye. This is ultramarine blue, just ultramarine, or this is my mud plus a little bit of liquid. Now I need my tiny, tiny brush. This is called a fine liner brush. This gets a, a long, gets a nice little point to it. And this I can do his eye. take me a couple times to do this. Just brace my hands against the easel. Get a little re get a little bit of light on the iris of his eye. There we go. And then we get a catch light here at the top of his eye. what? I have the light coming in from the wrong direction. I need to switch it. So here we go. The light's coming in from the upper right. So the catch light will be in the upper right side of his eye. So go ahead and put a highlight on his head there. That'll help me. There we go. Now Light on the iris the is be on this side. Hard time getting this to cooperate with me. There we go. And now our catch light will be right here. This is just a tiny little light dot. I got it too big, so I can come back with my mud. And make it a little bit littler. There we go. He'll have a little highlight on his lower lower lid here underneath the eye. And then light here. And this will be lighter. Nice highlight here on this. Give me a little. That may be too light. 
It's just you kind of have to work back and forth. There we go. I need to smooth his chin here. Have this too big. Change the shape here just a little bit. Next going to be a little bit thicker right there. And so that's our hummingbird. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of my paintings. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video. So thank you so much, and you just have a wonderful, wonderful day. Today is a great day to have a great day. Thank you so much.